The one thing I want to see, though. Okay, so they're going to just start going Pokemon Stadium 2, the neutral starter, new Smashville of this game. A lot of people don't actually like Smashville because the platform is just kind of sitting and floating around in the middle. And throws people off guard. All right, so Paul's going to seems to play Pichu. Okay, yeah, our guesses were completely wrong. I can see that. Pichu is a little bit smaller, or is quite small, hard to hit for Luigi. But still, don't know how this will go out completely because he can ledge guard Luigi really until he will, but he also dies really early, and I believe that graph count will completely destroy him. Or maybe. So let's just go ahead and go with a quick button warmer. Button check. Kong Kong loves doing those. Oh, is this true? Okay, it seems like the Dragon is true, so Paul up. If he is actually going to play Pichu, he's going to be really cautious of that. Because that will steal stocks early, regardless of this game. Yeah. Button warmer is done. is going to be playing the Pichu. Luigi. Three, two, one, go! Okay, so let's start game one. Kong Kong versus Paula, Pichu versus Luigi. This matchup is very volatile, but Kong Kong has a slight edge, it seems like. To okay, that was just near out of here. Pichu being one of the better characters in the game at the moment, but a lot of people have been straying away from him, especially after the nerfs. Weakened F kill, a bit more and less range. And they also increase the damage Pichu takes from most of his moves. So a lot of people are kind of straying away from this character. But it doesn't take away that Pichu still has really good out of shield options. Back air still a good kill option. Still has the Thunder Loops. But has to worry because this is the factor. Okay, I think he was trying to go for verse up B because down throw up B is a true combo with Luigi. And Pichu being one of the life characters. I think the life character in the game will die to that relatively early. Okay, Kong Kong with a solid 60% lead, just hold walling out, follow it up. And will this be it? Okay, nope. Down throw. They're trying to smash up the ledge, won't catch anything unfortunately. This is where the game would be a little bit more interesting because now this is where Paul Apple dies to most straight hits, but also can kill Luigi relatively early, especially down air being a really good ledge option. And okay, so trying to F-Smash the green missile will whiff, unfortunately, giving you Kong Kong the better stage control. We'll still stock with the back throw. This is where it gets named it again, because now Paul is back in the grab range. As you can see, Kong Kong trying to go for it, because why not? If he grabs it, he kills him. Well and beyond worth it. Might take a few hits there and a little bit more percent, but Okay, seems like just barely out of range. Down there with the not descending the spike. Okay, back to the ledge for free. Not really much resistance there. Pop not seeming to know what to do. Will miss the tech jab walk by the neutral, by the jab one to up B kill. And now he's down two stocks and Kong Kong sitting comfortably in the lead. Doesn't really have to approach and also call up again once in the danger zone. Will this work? Nope. Okay, so it seems like Pichu, with rage included, really hard to get that combo with. But we'll get the falling cyclone, pass through, call it up, completely ignoring any option that he had. All gets the missile, yeah. So when Luigi sticks himself into the wall, you can do almost any option, he just kind of sits there for one. I don't believe he can tech it, actually. It's an untechable when he's hugging the wall back. Okay, so Paul is going to get a down throw, trying to go for the lightning loop, actually, but unfortunately whips it just a little bit too much, won't get it. Okay, Kanka trying to go for down throw cycle, seal the stock early, but just missed it. Kong Kong playing more zoning game, kind of spacing out the Ferris and the Zare. Doesn't really want Paul up getting in him, but still punishing every, the spot dodges here and there with the dash attack, catching the up with the dare, or the, not the dare, the down tilt. They're trying to catch in a roll option, I think. You better get up and tap. Uh, Paul up will drop the shield at the last hit of the cycle, and I think he tried to parry it, try to get a better punish on Kong Kong, but unfortunately, Wisp and gets killed by it. So Kong Kong will take game one. It's two stock, pretty solid lead. Seems like he's having a little bit of trouble trying to get through Kong Kong's wall. Zares and Ferris keeping him at a decent range. And you can't really camp neutral B anymore. 
because of how much percentage you take for now. I mean, it works if you can get every a neutral beam a hit in every like two or three you that you use, but Kong Kong is not really getting hit by those. She's doing a good job of avoiding it, so. Let's see how Paul will up adapts. Taking two FD, less platforms for Kong to run around with. Has to deal with the Thunder Jolts more directly now. Okay, so trying to get an F slash whiffs. Kong trying to go for the Zare to grab combo, but unfortunately that whiffs as well. Okay. We're just trading here back and forth. Kong trying to go for the grab after the neutral B. Yeah, that, that plunger is really good at catching people air. Okay, tries to go for the up hoping for a shield drop, or maybe to break the shield even as well. Followed up, trying to go for the thunder loop. Or not thunder loop, back air loops. Unfortunately, I feel like it was a little bit too high for that to start. It will catch down, throw down, it will not kill yet, though. Followed up, a dangerous percent again. And he, most straight hits for Luigi will kill, maybe even a grab. Okay, yep. There's the plunger playing perfectly. Okay, so Kong Kong likes going for that Zare to meet it down there, because if it does dink you at the ledge, it is a true combo, he says. Okay, we'll catch a run with the cycle in that startup. Really good, has super arms, so even if Paul threw anything out, the chances are he would have punished with Kong Kong air dodging at the ledge to SD. He was laughing it off, so I don't know what was that about, but okay. Stocks are even again. Paul up has the chance again. Has to watch out though, grab combos are in effect. As you can see, Kong is fishing for them. Yep, we'll punch the grab with the up air into the Thunder Loop. Trying to go for it again, but neutral combo break and we'll stop from that. Catching the air algae with the rapid jab. And, and once again, stuck at the ledge. Kong Kong just going to throw off his moves as per usual. Fall up scene has a lot of trouble with the buttons that Luigi has. Okay, trying to go for a shield drop. Oh, up he read again. Oh, missed the tech on the back air and pull it up. Now has a lead against Kong Kong, which is really good. He can still camp it up, but he still has to watch out because any straight hit will kill him. And Kong Kong's showing that he's really good at getting those. Well punished there with the up smash. Stealing the stocks. I'm assuming that stock tying it up again. Okay, will this be it? Will Kong Kong get the zero to this? Oh, yep, there it is. Finally, fishing for it the entire two games. Finally get it on the last stock. Pull it up. Had a decent lead, was able to get the edge guard early with the back air, but unfortunately Kong Kong was able to seal it out 2-0. Yeah, the entire match, Paul up had seemed to have a lot of trouble getting in his hits. He got the Thunder Loop once, but unfortunately wasn't able to get the other time.